person who would never, ever, get her metaphors uh, wrong is the next performer. She's been here before, and we are so happy to have her back. She comes all the way. You think that you got, oh my god, I made an effort. I was driving here from... Uh, Achte Bezirk, ja, Meidling, ja, das ist eh zu weit. <laughs> All the way from Brno, it's Ann Johnson! Hi, my name is Anne, and I'm a genius. Uh, I'm originally from California. I moved to Brno in the Czech Republic almost 30 years ago. And you might wonder, why would you leave beautiful, sunny California for the post-socialist gray landscape of the Czech Republic in the early 90s? Well. Beer was 25 cents a pint. <laughs> now, at the time, at the time, as an English teacher, I made, I made four beers an hour. <laughs> I studied poetry, not math. Uh, but I liked the beer, and I liked the public transportation, and I liked the healthcare. And a mere, a mere 22 years later, when Donald Trump got elected president, I looked pretty smart. <laughs> but was that, was that genius? No, because the Czech president is horrible. He doesn't have nuclear codes and nobody's heard of him, but still, that wasn't really genius. That was more like really good advanced planning and risk management. Uh, I'm single. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm single. I've been single for a few years now because um, I'm very emotional. I laugh a lot, like we all do. And, uh, and I also cry a lot. I cry because, oh, my home state is burning down. I cry because my current home apparently now has tornadoes. Uh, yeah, and it's not really funny. Um, <laughs> I cry because those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it, and those who can remember the past are condemned to stand by an abject horror while the rest of you repeat it. Um, I cry because there's commercials on television. <laughs> I cry because there's commercials on television. I cry because of um, the really sad, like anything with an animal, right? It's sad advertising or sad advertising. I don't, I don't even like animals. <laughs> but, um, but I have a rule that I won't be in a relationship with anyone who can't handle how emotional I am. And I also won't be in a relationship with anyone who cries more than I do. Uh, <laughs> because we'd never get anything done. <laughs> um, my idea of a healthy relationship would be like a little bit of crying, a reasonable amount of sex, and lots of laughing. Lots of laughing. And when it's over, like, we, we still love each other, you know? It's still good, but we're gonna, like, say goodbye, a little giggle, big hug, and that's fine. So single. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I get a lot of work done. Uh, I, work, I work as a medical editor specializing in neurology. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's something. And I thought that what I would do is come here tonight and share with you information that I have from reading neurology papers and what I like to call anecdotal data <laughs> to let you know how I know, to let you know how I'm, I was unprepared for you. I've been practicing this and the clapping is throwing me. Uh, <laughs> I love you. So I wanted to let you know, I wanted to let you know how I'm a genius. So one way, one way that you can tell that you're a genius is, is by taking a test. Um, 
I was, I was on a date, though, with this guy once, and he said, oh, it's so nice to talk to you because I think that your IQ might be as high as mine. <laughs> and I was like, wait, so like, but IQs aren't really a very good reflection of intellect. They're only a good reflection of how good you are at taking tests. And also, they're really unfairly biased for white people. And also, there's a really ugly history of IQ testing in eugenics. And also, Mensa is an alt-right incel cesspool. And also, <laughs> almost, <laughs> oh, honey, no. <laughs> if you think that you are the smartest person in the room and you think that's important, like, find another room. <laughs> Mischief managed. In my opinion, in my experience, the smartest person in the room is the one who's trying to make sure that everybody's having a good time. If all you can do with your intellect is think about how you compare to other people, yeah, if you think you're the smartest person in the room, get another room, get an empty room. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> so, so yeah, I've taken some tests. And all I know is I'm really good at taking tests. Uh, another way that you can tell that someone is a genius is if you, if you scan their brains. If their brains have a lot of white matter, that's one of the signs. So if you think about a tree, right, if their brains look like white, heavily branchy trees, that's one of the ways. Because if you're a thought, right, and you're going for a little climb in someone's brain, you want a lot of branches that you can hook onto. If you're not using a branch, you cut it off. That's gray matter. So, so if you have a lot of white matter, that's one way you can tell you're a genius. And I've had my brain scanned. However, uh, I have face blindness, so if I met you tonight, yeah. Um, <laughs> if you change clothes or change your background, it's, uh, you know, it's all over. <laughs> that's just, that's just, I mean, anybody else? Because it's okay. My name's Anne, and I'm originally from California, but I've lived in Brno in the Czech Republic for almost 30 years. Uh, I was last at PCCC in 2019, so if you were here, how awesome was that? <laughs> I, I may have dated three of you, and if that's how we met, like, super sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one way you can tell you're a genius, obviously. I, I'm disqualified. Uh, another way that you can tell that you're a genius is metaphors, is the ability to make connections between two things that don't seem like they match. I was in California visiting my family this summer. It's weird, because it's like most things are back to normal, but some things super aren't. And one, things that, one thing that isn't back yet is buffet restaurants, right? Because they're like a giant pool of bacteria. So they're not back. And I really like buffet restaurants, because everyone in my family has a super different idea about food. Like my sister's vegetarian. Uh, my brother only eats meat. I like to go and get like a teeny bit of everything to see what I like, and then I like to go back for seconds, because you should always try something twice, to be sure. So the buffet restaurants are closed, bummer. So we go to a restaurant that has uh, menus, and on the menu is vegetable salad. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> vegetable salad, vegetable. Sometimes the words that we use are not enough, right? Like, is it a, is it a carrot salad? Is it a kohlrabi salad? Is it kale? Is it cob salad? You know, what is a vegetable salad? And so I was thinking vegetables really, that's, a, that's, a, that's an umbrella term, <laughs> right? And sometimes we like umbrella terms. Sometimes we like queer is a great umbrella term. Now, sometimes we need to spell out for people what flavor of queer we are, you know, in the LGBTQIA alphabet. Sometimes we need to tell people, but sometimes we like this. Just a nice little umbrella term. And I, because I like a metaphor, was thinking, these umbrellas are the same. Stay with me. <laughs> Over here, in the vegetables, we have your leafy vegetables, right? We have your lettuce, kale, spinach. Those are your lesbians. <laughs> because I have seen pictures of women eating salad, and they look happy. 
Mushrooms, the gay men. Because they are fun guys. <laughs> tomatoes. Tomatoes, sweet, juicy tomatoes, are your bisexuals. Because they're botanically a fruit and culinarily a vegetable. And everybody has a fucking opinion about where they really belong. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are hermaphrodites, because they are, which is the I and intersex. Um, I know, you came for comedy, but you stay for the education. <laughs> Straight allies. Bacon. <laughs> because, my God, you keep turning up at my bar, my gay bar, my salad bar. And everybody, you know, sees you dancing and some people are super happy to have you there. And that's great, but I just want to be clear before I order a vegetable salad whether or not you're going to be there. <laughs> I can see that you're with me. The plural of genius is not genii. The plural of genius is geniuses, so here we are. <laughs> but the ability to compare two things doesn't mean that I'm a genius. It just means, you know, I mean, it's logic. Uh, another way that you can tell someone's a genius is their ability to adapt and evolve to new information. When I was young, I thought I was a lesbian. Then I thought maybe I preferred men because men are so simple, and women are so complicated. Then I thought maybe I preferred women, because men are so simple, and women are so complicated. <laughs> then I thought maybe I'm bi, and so in order to be fair to everybody, I should alternate. You know, didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Uh, then I dated a non-binary person and thought, I actually see gender as more of a spectrum than a bi. So I can't be bisexual, which means I don't have a letter on the umbrella here. Maybe I'm Y. <laughs> Maybe I'm a yam, because I am what I am. <laughs> but the ability to adapt and evolve doesn't make you a genius. It just means you're trying to keep things interesting so you don't die of boredom. So, moving to a foreign country, not genius. Brain scans and tests, not necessarily a genius, although. Uh, comparing things, nah. Adapting and evolving, not necessarily, no. The way that I know that I am a genius is that I have figured out how to have a really good relationship where I laugh a lot and they laugh a lot. And when it's over, they like me more than they did when we started. And yet we all know it's over. Lots of laughter. I'd like to thank you for being in that relationship with me tonight. I love you. I love you so much, and I hope we can still be friends. Thank you. We missed it. No, 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 okay. We missed it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I am what I am. Thank you so much for making our trip worthwhile here. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, coming here and, and keep coming here. Please. Oh. <laughs> Please. <laughs>